So guys, President Bola Metinubu has finally directed the Attorney General to review case of minors charged for treason after international embarrassment and national outrage. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for late stopping by. President Bola Metinubu has ordered the Minister of Justice and the Attorney General of the Federation, Latif Febemi San, to review the treasonable felony charges brought against some underage and minority children before the Federal High Court in Abuja, which has attracted national and global outrage. Sahara reporters learned from sources that Tunubu on Friday ordered the AGF to review the case and make recommendations accordingly after the Nigerian presidency came under screening for maltreating underage children accused of bogus charges for participating in the nationwide and bad governance protest in August. Sahara reporters earlier reported that the court presided by Justice Obiara Oguato granted stringent bail to over 70 persons, including minors, for their alleged roles in the protest. Five minors out of the 76 defendants meant to be arraigned on Friday, however, slumped inside the courtroom and were rushed to the hospital. The minors have been taken back to Kuji prison following difficulties in meeting their bail conditions. The court granted each of the defendants 10 million naira bail, among other stringent terms. However, one of the counsels for the protesters, DJ Deoju, lamented that the stringent bail conditions imposed by the courts on the protesters who have been in custody since August meant they had to be taken back to prison custody. Human rights and advocacy groups across the country have accused President Bola Tinubu of running a crew Hinners and punitive government. The group said, they said this in a separate statement issued on Friday while condemning the continued detention and persecution of end bad governance protesters. The group demanded the unconditional release of all detained protesters, especially minors, immediate suspension of all exuberant bail conditions granted to the protesters transparent investigation into the maltreatment of underage detainees, including starvation, physical abuse, and psychological trauma at IRUT and other detention centers, and an end to the crim uh, criminalization of protests and uh, dissent voices in the country. One of the statements was jointly signed by Comrade Garage O. Kache of the National Secretary Committee for the Defense of Human Rights, Omole Iboko of the Creative Change Center, Saloko Kayode of the Revolutionary Socialist Movement, Hawa Mustafa of the ASVAB. Avid, okay, comrade destiny, destiny of the Civil Rights Council and others. The group said the arraignment of the protesters before Justice Obiara, Obiora Egutwa of the Federal High Court in Abuja exposes the gross and tone deaf indifference of all arms of the Nigerian government to justify to justice. And the well-being of Nigerians. So, guys, uh, this is even after uh, Peter will be called out the AGF. Okay, that is when President Bola Metinubu, <coughs> please pardon me, uh, asks for AGF to you know to look into the matter. Sometimes, say, uh, waiting this people they do for this country is caring. No, you get. How can you arrain minors? These people are the ones that want to take over uh, 
I will want to overthrow President Bola Tinubu. Come on. You know, yesterday I was sharing tears. You get. Nigerian police said there is nothing wrong with, you know, what they did. After all, their children are not there. I, I'm not even sure. I am talking about the orgasm. Uh -huh. I'm talking about the orgasm in the police. Their children are not feeling what these people are feeling, these children now dying, you know, in the prison today. Do you think if they are not hungry, they will eventually come out, they will come out for protests, even if they are being violent? It's because of, you know, frustration. Well, Peter will be also reacted. Peter will be calls on the Attorney General of Police, the Human Rights Commission, to prove detention of minors over and bad governance. You see, these people, they are making us, you know, to look like a uh, protest is a crime in Nigeria. Yes, that is how they are trying to make it look. That when you protest, is a crime in Nigeria. It's not fair. So, guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Please share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you and bye for now.